Insulate Britain or Extinction Rebellion or Climate Hippies, they're all the same. They all have different brandings. Every time one of their movements failed, they create a new team, the new brand, a new logo. This time they got this weird thing and they're kind of stealing it from Brexit. It's like you got the red and blue thing. Oh, yeah, Britain, look at us. We're not really country hating guys. We know we're just we're just a bit hipster. That's it. We care about the environment, but we care about ordinary people, too. We don't want your gas bills to be expensive, but we do. We don't want you to change your lifestyle, but we do. We don't want to bring down capitalism, but we do. These guys who've been causing trouble on M25 and on the main roads in the UK over the last week, this is the second week they're doing it again. Now they've come out, even though they've been causing a lot of issues with ordinary people and the police, of course, and don't get me started with the police. We already covered that last week. They have caused a poor woman to be paralyzed because she was on her way to the hospital and she was late. And because of a stroke, unfortunately, and now she, for the rest of her life, she can't really have that recovery that she could have had because of these idiots and this dangerous mob that's causing these troubles. And now they've come out with a new demand. You know what they want? They want the police and the highway agency to reduce the speed limits on that road on M25 so that they could easily block the road and sit down without getting hurt to protect themselves. They want cars to slow down on those days when they're around. Really? They've literally released a statement. They're talking about how we are asking the highways agency to review their previous decision not to reduce the speed limits, even though they had been made aware that major disruption will be taking place. You said it. You told them that the major disruption is going to take place. It's not like some sort of natural disaster that, oh, they've been warned that some problems will, cause, will be caused. Yeah, you're doing it. So you can stop it. You can stop the disruptions. You don't have to do that. Well, to be fair, maybe I should encourage them to do it because the more they do it, the more they alienate people. They're losing support by the minute. There are a lot of people, ordinary people, on the fence on this issue of the environment because they think that you have to be black and white. You have to either be completely of one tribe or the other tribe. No, it doesn't really work that way. This is not a football team. I know in politics, we turn everything into football. Everything has to be tribalist. Red, blue, Brexit, remain, like lockdown, no lockdown. There's no nuance. There's no actual compromise or anything or understanding. It doesn't have to compromise. You don't have to compromise. Have your convictions. But ordinary people who want ba the basics of environment, clean air and clean water, things like that. Not necessarily that, oh, the trees are going to die. We're all going to die. It's the end of the world eight years to go. No, 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 not that. That's a bit too weird. But the people who just want to live in a more advanced and modern society to make things more efficient, just like how we did with the invention of cars, as opposed to just using horses. It, it wasn't just, you know, it wasn't actually the other way around, but the, a modern society would make things more efficient. What Elon Musk is doing with his inventions is to make things efficient. What Tony Stark does as, as Iron Man. <laughs> but these guys, what are you talking about? You could cause the problems and then you demand change and then you wonder why you're losing support. We call you out. That's why this channel exists. And that's why, thanks to your support, we're going to continue to call them out. Because as you know, they don't really care about the environment. They have one agenda. It's about bringing down capitalism, bringing down the Western civilization to introduce a communist utopia. So if you want to oppose communist utopia, support this channel and support the main channel that we have, myitc.co.uk. Check it out. The link is in the description. This is where, this is the home of the counterculture and counterpolitics. We are fighting back. Thanks to you guys. With your help, we will take back control of our environment and our political system as a whole.